What are you doing here? I thought I'd catch you before you left. Can I come in? Yes, okay. <laughs> Up of this. You know me, I just love a project. I came to tell you I'm filing for divorce. I think it's best. I need to start drawing a line under this. Divorce, John, is a bit drastic. I don't understand. When, when did you decide? I can't spend the rest of my life waiting around for you to sort yourself out, to get help. What help? I don't need help. I'm doing fine. Still on the pills. Bank statements, really. If you're gonna buy them online, don't use our joint account, eh? Are you a private detective now, are you? Well, I clearly can't believe anything you tell me. As long as you're on those things, you're not my Ruby. Fine. 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 File for a divorce. You know, it'll be mercifully quick. Not like we've got anything left to divvy up. Kind of nappy? Yeah. Yes, I'm sure. I'll see you later. Oh, you're not actually going to tell me what's in this thing, are you? All will be revealed next week. <laughs> Remember, that's the quiet wedding. Yeah, I can still make a bit of a fuss. Have you seen those two? Ah! You to my office now, please. What? It's not a discussion, let's go. Chris, I'll meet you in there. Yeah. Hi, yeah. hey, Ruby, how's it going? Uh, fine, yes, I must have rumble. Um, I'm going to have to call on your organisational skills. I need someone to take over the uh, end of year prom committee. I think you're up to it? I think the students are doing that. Yes, they are, they are doing it, but I need an experienced hand to guide them. You want to come to the management meeting? Yeah? All right, I'll see you there. So, as you know, your parents have been in contact with the school following the events of last week. Mine haven't. Just listen. They're very concerned. They want us to keep you apart during school hours. You what? Please, miss. No. You'll stay away from each other at break times and we'll keep you separated in lessons. No, you can't do that. Uh, we can do whatever we like if it means keeping the discipline in this school. Then please may I have your mobile phones? <laughs> Come on, mobile phones. You'll get them back after school. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Mee, can you take Finn to his class? Yes. Don't worry. He can't keep us apart. Oh, come on, Romeo. Amy, you've been with Mason. What she want? And they're not letting me see Finn. You could at least feel sorry for me. Sure thought this has happened. I'm happy. You're right for when you're with him. Yeah, well, even if I try and see him now, my parents are going to send me to a different school. Then don't. Just do what Miss Mason says and stop being such an idiot about him. Oh, don't be so lame, Sam. We've got to go. I'll be a lot. I'm not going. Ow! What's all that about? She's not going to the prom. Reckons mum can't afford it. I said my dad had pay, so I was like, oh, not a charity case. So not fair. I'm not going if Sam doesn't. Rachel, Sam Kelly can't afford it. And I don't think she'll be the only one. I just think it's a lot to ask the kids to pay that much money. We're talking funding for the prom. <sighs> Steph, I do hear what you're saying, but I can't exactly write a blank cheque for every single school card we have. Get them. I mean, is it fair for the kids to be priced out of their own prom? Maybe we could think of some ways to fundraise, subsidise it. I'm sure I could get the staff to do something. The fire station did a calendar last year. They raised loads for their Christmas due. Steph, you know, I'm sure you can come up with something. Yeah. OK. And if you're so keen, why don't you help Ruby organise it? Don't worry, Rubes, I won't tread on your toes. Ruby, I want you to get Amy Porter involved in the committee. I thought she was in a tower. Yeah, the other pupils might see that as a reward. I've got to get her involved in something positive. She's just moping around. Well, maybe Ruby could supervise her all day then. Bit of consistency. Great. It's not just the money, is it? It's because you want to go to Bolton. If you fancy him, why don't you just ask him? 
Worst you can say is no. Or, why don't you go with someone else? Look, if he sees you with another bloke, he's going to be well jealous. Definitely make a move. So who am I supposed to go with? Don't even dare say Josh. No. Paul Manley. He's well desperate. He's been asking everyone. <laughs> Lauren. Just ask him. Okay. What's the man's face? You all right? You all right? I was talking to Paul. Um, do you want to go to the prom with me? Um, yeah, of course. Great. Yes. Score me. Move, man. So will you? Here we go. You are an absolute lifesaver. I've got time for a quick cup if you make him one. Do you know what? I've got I've got the midwife coming in a minute, otherwise I would, sorry. Well, it's no problem, I should get back anyway. Year tens. Oh, well, uh, I'll uh, I'll make it up to you later. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm counting on it. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Go on, see to your block. You'll be with me whenever you're not in lessons, so get used to it, because I am not in the mood for any lip, Amy. And also, Miss Mason's asked me to head up a prom committee, and she's asked for you to be included. Obviously, it's a privilege, which I can withdraw if there is any trouble. Do me and she will miss. Good. Well, hopefully, getting your teeth into something might help. You can do it and enjoy it, or you can do it with a face like a smack bomb. It's up to you. Turnout, everyone. Um, right, okay. I'm sure you've all got loads of ideas. Excuse me. Um, so come on, please. So let's hear them. Fire away. Uh, beach party. Loads of girls. Skimpy bikinis. Alcohol. Yeah. Ew. No, it should be more uh, glamorous, you know, like the magazines and that. So it should be um, gowns and bow ties and stuff. Yeah, you could do it like a red carpet event, miss. Like a film premiere or something. Oh, like the Oscars. They had Oscars with beer and all the grimy dubstep. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We haven't got enough in the budget for all of this. Yeah, you're going to have to stop figuring out ways to get some extra cash if you want to do all these. And um, in the meantime, oh, Steph, could you get onto the hotel, please? Um, I thought music, Bolton and Paul, thank you very much. Um, design team is going to be Alicia and Danielle. And um, advertising, Amy, Siobhan, you do that? Yeah, OK. I want everybody to get involved. I want you to crack on. I wasn't expecting you to be here. It's good to see you. It's nice to think about something else for a while. I've got a great idea to raise some more cash. To do it. You okay? John's divorcing me. Oh, Rubes. I'm sorry. Has he, has he met someone else? No. No, it's not like that. You know, actually, it's for the best. Yeah. Do you want to finish your set lunch? We could go to the art room. I'm not allowed. This is what it's going to be like when I have to move schools. I'm never going to be able to hang out with you. It won't come to that. Shove, could you do me a massive favour? Could you give this to Finn for us? No, it's not what you think. I just need to explain to him that I need to cool it a bit. My parents are mad at me. There's all this and I've lost all my mates. You've not. Finn's just so intense. I need some space. Okay. Look, it's not always going to be like this, Ames. Being dead brave. Cheers, Sean. Right, young lady. Come on. Saying? What? What are you saying? Nothing. Um, you got a date for the prom yet? No. 
or how about me and you go together? You know, for old time's sake. Never gonna happen, Bolton. Oh, that's brilliant. See, we can still function without Romeo. Hardly thought about my all. What? Oh, pull the other one, Amy. Yeah, I miss him. Yes, girls. Who is it? Let's have a look. Well, what are you doing? I need you to give this letter to Amy. I'm not doing it, Finn. Well, just keep me out of it, yeah? This whole thing is well psycho. You what? Why don't you just leave Amy alone now? She's trying to move on. Uh, Finn? Well, it's them. Yeah, it always is, isn't it? Right, experiment time. Sam, if you could have these goggles out for me, please. Thank you. And he's liked it. Right, you lot, stay here and no noise. Where are you going? It'll be a proper calendar with us as the months. You holding a copy of Macbeth looking all learned. I told you they couldn't stop us. Babe, listen, may like getting over it, yeah? They'll leave us alone if we just do what they say. What do you think they've won? Didn't she give you the letter? No. What letter? I figured out a way to see tonight. Well, why anyone would be interested in paying good money to see our faces? We're going to go show us, get her to cover, and then I'll come yours. Well, we can't miss out, can we? It's a buy it for a laugh, Grantley. They love it when we don't take ourselves too seriously. Anyway, listen, I've got to get off. We'll just think about it, Mr. September. What the hell do you think you are doing, boy? Hey! <laughs> what do you think you're playing at? Just do what they say for now, yeah? She wanted to see Amy, sir. Sorry. Get back to the science lab now. Trust me. Sit. Fancied my cup of tea with a friendly face. I saw John this morning. Oh, Ruby, that's great. So you're talking again. You must be really pleased. Oh, you look busy. I'll, um, I'll come back. Uh, I am a bit, yeah. Well, well maybe later. Yeah. yeah. What is that? Fancy. It's beautiful. I thought you would have wanted to tell me. We're trying to keep it low key, um, to keep it under your hat. Wow. Oh, she's a lucky girl. God, you must both be so excited. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. 
Well, I mean, it's all been a bit of a rush. You know, there's loads to sort out. We've got the rings, the, uh, the honeymoon. I must have every brush in Rochdale. And then there's the flat. I'm moving in with Rachel. Um, so we don't want to be coming back to uh, two properties. Can I help? Uh, no, we've got it covered, but cheers. Look, I've got a lesson in 10 minutes, but first I've got to ring the estate agents. I uh, can put my property on the, on the market. So, so uh, just hold on. Sounds great. Who else is it? Grantly. Mind you, it cost me half a bottle of whiskey and two lessons covered. <laughs> what about you, Jew? Oh, no, I'll pass, thanks. I want to keep my head down till the end of term. Oh, come on! We need you. Anyway, we've got to cash in on the pink pound. Uh, do you know what? After the last few weeks, I'd really rather not be Waterloo Rose Gay Icon. Thanks. Anyway, I'm going to ring this friend of mine, Zoe. She's like a proper professional photographer. Superb. Yeah, sorted. You all right, miss? Yeah. So that on your dress? Ooh. What's happened, miss? Mm. I don't think that's fine. I need to... Fancy langers then? Well, he's cute and I like him, my boys. He's all hair. And who are you taking? I've got loads of girls queuing up me. Just need to decide who makes the final cut. Yeah. Invisible queue, is it? Keep them close. <laughs> Keep them close. Forward, forward, forward. Oh, I don't forward. like it. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I don't put it. the remains of our wedding cake. Oh, love, I'm so sorry. All the effort you've gone to. Forget it, it's my fault for leaving the door unlocked. Your, it's not your fault, this is vicious. Who's done this? I think I might have an idea. Finn Sharkey and Amy Porter, they have both got access to grind with me today. We know what they're capable of. But you don't know it's either of them. No, I don't know that. I'm gonna find out. Amy, can I have a word, please? Can I have a word, please? Miss Mason, um, the production meeting for the prom went really well. There was loads of great ideas. And um, Amy's volunteered to do the poster. That's great. Um, Mrs Fry, can you tell me, was Amy left alone at all this morning? Um, for a moment or two. Thanks. 
was an act of vandalism earlier today. The cake that Mr. Fleet made was deliberately ruined. Did you go anywhere near the kitchens this morning? No, miss. You sure? Because Mrs. Fry just said that you were left alone. I didn't go anywhere. I was here. Really? You know what? If you are responsible, it's important that you're honest and you own up because I will find out who did this. It wasn't me. Yes. You could always give me a hand, you know. Mr. Me, can I have a word? Yes, yeah. Um, has Finn been left unsupervised today? Uh, yeah, he bolted earlier. I went after him, but he managed to get in a word with Amy. Why? Uh, Adam made a wedding cake. It was supposed to be a surprise, and someone's destroyed it. Did you do that? I don't know. Someone with a grudge. Did he go anywhere near the kitchens? No. He hasn't been out of my sight for more than a minute or two. OK. Thanks, Chris. Mrs Fry, a word? Uh, this isn't easy, but the cake I was making Rachel earlier, it was ruined, smashed up. Do you know anything about it? Should I? Well, Rachel's convinced it's a pupil with a grudge, but I can't help thinking that she's only half right. And I can't let one of the kids take the blame for this. I did leave you with it. Are you seriously suggesting, Adam, that I ruined your cake? And what would be your reasoning? Well, I don't know why. I mean, maybe hard feelings because of last week the kiss. Do you know what? If you spent more than two minutes thinking about something other than your ruddy wedding, you would know that I've got more important things to think about than some aborted snog with a cook. You are just too much. I mean, that self-obsessed has no room in your head for anything else. We thought that we were friends. You just make it difficult for people to care about you sometimes. Uh, any joy with the cake thing? Uh, come in. Spoke to Amy. She denied it. Apparently Finn couldn't have even been there. I don't know though, Adam. I don't feel like I'm getting the full story. Um, I think I know who did this. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it was Ruby. Ruby? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry I haven't said anything, but... Uh, Last week, at her flat, she tried to kiss me. What? I mean, I, yeah, I stopped it. I, I got out there as quick as I could and everything. Wait a minute, you should have... You should have told me that. I should have. I should have told you, but... I didn't. And this morning she came to see me, she saw the cake. I just think it's a bit hard for her. I mean, I took on too much, I allowed her to rely on me, I just... I don't know. But why would she do that? Well, she's emotionally unstable. Unstable? That's unhinged. Adam... Why didn't you tell me that that was going on? Nothing was going on, that's the point. This was all fantasy on her behalf. I mean, this is insecurity. She thinks she needs me or something. I, I don't know. I don't want to speak Well, no, I already have. I've already spoken to her. Look, this is my problem. No, it's not, Adam. If what you're saying is true, today she almost let a child take the fall for her. And she was there when I was talking to Amy. She didn't say a word. This is something I've got to deal with. Did you give him the letter? Not yet. I haven't had time. I'm dead to wait. Mate's getting shoved. Do you want to hang out tonight? I could stay at yours. What do you reckon? I could bring some snacks and we could curl up and watch a film like we used to. I'll even let you choose. So what? You come to my house for a sleepover and then suddenly you have to pop out and you get me to cover for you in case your parents ring. <laughs> no. Oh, shut up, Amy. I've read the letter. I know you've seen Finn tonight. Oh my God, that letter was for Finn, not for you. You know he I can't believe I thought you gave a crap about me. I feel like such an idiot. No, you're not. You're just a dead good mate. Oh, please, Sean. I really need you to help me. I need to see him. You've seen what it's like here. 
Why should I? Because if you cared about me at all, you'd do this. I do care about you. But I'm not doing it. But I, I told him I had a plan that I'd sorted. I can't just let him down. Right, anything you girls care to share with this classroom? No, Miss Sally. I don't care about your little tiff. I just want some quiet in this classroom. Amy's using me to see Finn, Miss. Get on with it. Fine. I'll sort it myself then. All right. Oh. You, you okay? Yeah. Sorry. Are you? Yeah. I think Paul's well in with Sambuki, you know. Nah. Are they just using each other? She doesn't actually like it. You're such a donut ball, Hey? Why don't you just ask her out? Because I don't want to go out with her. So why are you always gawping at her? She ain't my type. What would I want with Sam Kelly? I'm going to go with you. Yeah. Well, someone's got to and I feel sorry for you. But if you try anything, I will turn those into a pair of these. Can you just pop to leave, please, miss? I don't think so, Amy. You sit down, please. It'll only be a minute. Finn's with Mr. Mead, Amy. He's behaving himself. You wouldn't have five minutes with him before you frog march back here. It's important. Um, right, OK, how do I explain that to Miss Mason? Oh, yeah, I know we said we would keep Finn and Amy separated, but this was important. Sit down. I helped you out earlier, Miss. Just be quiet, because I don't want any more of your back chat. Do you understand me? Sit down. Do you want me to tell Miss Mason about the cake? OK, Miss, so it's your intention to humiliate me. <laughs> so do you, then. Kids, will you go and stand in the hall, please? Be very quiet. Amy. Ruby, go and wait in my office. Amy. She just started on me, miss. Why? What did you do? What? How did you provoke her? I will ask your classmates, tell me what happened. I just saw Finn and only wanted to talk to him. Well, she just flipped out on me. It's all Siobhan's fault. I wrote him a letter and all she had to do was give it to him and none of this would have happened. Where's the letter? Miss Fry confiscated it. She put it in her desk. Go wait in the cooler. I'll be along in a minute. I need to see Finn. You won't be seeing Finn. That is the last thing that's going to happen. Go on. Okay, come on in, chaps and chapesses. Hope you're all ready for your close-ups. You, you look a bit nervous, Stav. It's only a photograph. Excited. <laughs> Is there only two women teachers at Waterloo Road? No, no, no. There's, uh, there's plenty more, but you've got the best two here. Okay. Right. Everyone, when I call you, I want you to grab a prop, slip behind them screens, and take your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You haven't told him, have you? What I thought was that we obviously need to sell as many calendars as possible. So, I thought, let's spice things up a bit. You know, show a bit of flesh. <laughs> you are joking. Who's seen Calendar Girls? I'm off. Grantly, I will pay for every drink for a week. You want us to take our clothes off? Be done tastefully, Joe. You'll be hidden behind these props. 
Look, just um, bear with me two seconds. <laughs> Finally, she has gone completely off the jump. But uh, this can't be for real stuff. I mean, we're teachers. Here she is, Miss January. Brilliant. <laughs> you see? Can't see me there. <laughs> Ruby, that behaviour with Amy, it was absolutely unacceptable. I know, I'm sorry. I've had a lot on my plate. Do you want to explain these? They're a prescription. They're helping you cope, are they? Right, I'm going to be straight with you. After what's happened today, with Amy and with the wedding cake. I think we've got a problem, haven't we? I obviously can't afford to keep you in the classroom at the moment. Are you suspending me? That is dismissal through the back door. What would have happened if I hadn't have come in? What would have happened? I mean, how long will you have kept a pupil locked up? Do you know, I'm going to contest this. Fine, but I need you off the premises. I'm suspending you. And I'm phoning my union. Still see your underpants. Left a bit. Perfect. Hold that. <laughs> Left a bit. Marvellous. Brilliant, Tom. Hold it there. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Down. I know, I'm sorry. I'll be better tomorrow. You can't even keep your head down for one day, Amy. I convinced your parents to give you a chance, but after today, I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm gonna have to agree with them. Maybe move to another school's for the best. No, please. Amy, it just isn't practical. We can't dedicate teachers for constant supervision. That seems to be the only way to keep you two apart. Come on, get your stuff together. <sighs> I'm gonna send you home in a taxi. Amy, please hurry up. Brilliant, that's death. Hold that Hi, me. I've got a union issue with... You're naked. Well, not completely. <laughs> Taking photographs of yourselves naked. Yeah, well, come and join in. It's a good laugh. <laughs> Is this what working with Masons reduced you to? Just prostituting yourselves? Do you know she questions my professionalism and she's sexual? Oh, for goodness sake, Ruby, it's all for a good cause. Oh, come off it, Steph! It's just an orgy for a load of hormone-charged anarchic delinquents. What the hell is this? It's a smutty calendar. What are you going to do about that, Miss Mason? Mrs Fry, I advise you very strongly to leave the premises. The rest of you, will you get to my office now? With your clothes on, please. I don't know who you are, but you do not have the right to take these kind of photographs here, so that camera remains. Thank you. She knows what's going on in my classroom. She lets everybody else do what they like. Are you going to let them get away with this? Do you know you haven't a clue what is going on under your nose? I'm warning you, Ruby, go home. Oh, you are so flaming smug. You swan around here with your fiancé. Hey, he's not so perfect. Did he tell you about all the times he covered for me? We'll not discuss this here, Ruby. It was me who caused the fire in the kitchen and he covered all of that up. Even if it meant lying to you and he's known about the pills, Rachel, for weeks. If you don't leave, I'll call the police. Oh, here he is. He can tell you himself. Adam, tell her about the kiss and how you promised not to say anything because you knew she'd react like this. Go on, tell her. Tell her. He's not saying anything because he feels sorry for you. Everyone feels sorry for you. You're a mess, Ruby. Rachel, 
I'm so sorry. Get out. Insane. You serious? Come on, you saw the state she was in. I'm not responsible for that. You lied to me, Adam. You lied about the fire, about the pills. No, I might have been able to help her. Well, maybe you should ask why she didn't come to you in the first place. What's that supposed to mean? Why didn't she admit she couldn't meet your exacting demands? That's unfair. Really? Look at the way you're reacting now. I mean, she was drowning and she couldn't come to you. Maybe I did get it wrong, but I won't be blamed for the fact that she didn't tell you. Thank you. Thanks for your support. Rich. No, 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 don't worry about it. And don't make me say something I don't want to. I'm not in the mood for round two, Amy. Buy pack and play stuff, miss. Well, it turns out you can't lock kids up these days. I'm really sorry. No, miss, it's okay. I, I was being a brat. It's not okay. It's not okay, Amy. Miss Mason says I'll be moving schools since this lot like, can't cope with me. Oh. That might be um, a good opportunity for you. It's a fresh start. You make friends. It's not going to split me and Finn up, though. Nothing seems right without him. Like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep us together. Ruby? <laughs> Rubes, are you going to tell me what all this is about? and everything. They just want John back. <laughs> then tell him. You've got a problem. Admit it. How many people are going to have to tell you? <sighs> I just I don't think there's any way back from this. <laughs> Get some help. Rachel will support you. If you knew what I had been through in this place, believe me, there is always a way back. <laughs> Phone him. Hiya. Hiya. Meals on wheels. Oh, come on. I know I'm not in Fernley Watts' face, but then I won't be that bad. It's not you, it's his Dex. What's up? Well, it's just his Dex, he's been grizzly all day. Right. Well, you put your feet up and give him to me. Come on. Yeah. There we go. You got him? Yep. Oh. No. I had the midwife round all day, and then my mum came round and she... How was your day? Yeah, it was fine. I'm listening. I'm just... I'm going to rest my eyes. <sighs> Rachel, no, I'm sorry. I know... I know that I've really made a hash of things, but I really need to talk Ruby, to Ruby, please, you. I can't talk to you. Please it's go. It's not the school that can't cope with Amy. It's me. And I, I just don't think that my failings should affect her future. I've not been coping with anything, not, not for a long time. We need to discuss this formally. No, those tablets that you've found, I got them online. And my, my doctor's been trying to wean me off for ages, but I just I didn't feel ready. And I've been using them to cope with everything. So why didn't you come and see me, Ruby? I would have given you some support. Oh, gosh, I couldn't even admit it to my husband. I didn't tell you, was I? I just, I 
really love this job, Rachel. And I know that I moan about it all the time, but um, I really love it here. And I'm, I'm not ready to leave. Well, in the light of this conversation, um, I... I won't mention that slap in my report. But you really need to deal with this, Ruby. You really do. I can't help unless you... You can prove that you're doing everything you can to help yourself. If you do that, maybe the governors will view your case more sympathetically. Thanks so much. You've got a long way to go yet. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, look, it's Bolton and his invisible queue. Have you found out it's got top prize yet? Yeah. Me and Michaela are going, actually. Yeah, right. Well, I should give you a second chance. That should seem kind of chuffed. Might be getting back together. Nice one. Can't find a new girlfriend. Recycle the old one. Well done. Amy. One last chance. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's a week till the end of term, and during that week you are not to see Finn at all, right? And if you can't stick to it, then I'm, I'm going to have to tell your parents about what happened today. And that means that you won't be back next term. You got that? So it is your last chance. No, I can do it, miss. I promise. I, I won't see him in school until you say. I just wanted to protect you. You lied. I made you feel like you had to. We're both as bad as each other, aren't we? I think we're a match made in heaven, actually. Madam, I want to be the first person you come to when you've got a problem, not the last. It's a deal. Thank you for my cake. <laughs> hey, come on, let me get that. Will you stop being nice to me? I don't deserve it. I'm here for you, Rube. I always have been here. There is a but, and it's a big one. I'm going to get help, and I'm going to get proper help. Or pretend. Got to be straight with each other, you know? Yeah. Got to support each other. Thanks, John. Come on, let's get you on. Sorry, it was starting to burn. Yours is in the microwave. I don't worry about it. <clears throat> So much for a romantic evening, eh? Well, we can do it again. What, when he's 18 and gone to college?
Oh, Chris, I didn't even see the flowers. Thank you. They're beautiful. Oh, oh, that's fine. Right, let me heat your dinner up and then I'll stick a film on, yeah? I'm fine, honest. I'm absolutely shattered. Just on my bed, really. Oh. <sighs> Do you mind? Well, you could have called me earlier. It'll save me shopping coming over just to be sent away again. I've been looking after a poorly baby all day. Sorry about that. I'll... Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I'll get off and leave you to it, yeah? Chris, no, I'm being rubbish. You're being a mum. And you're cracking at it. Really suits you. <laughs> yeah. Utter exhaustion and baby puke really make a, a girl glow. <laughs> I am loving it, though. It's great. Well, I'll call you tomorrow. We need to have that date. This isn't right. What? Look at this. You changing my son's nappies and we've not even... You know, you've not even spent the night. Well, we'll get there. Yeah, I don't know if we will. Not the way we, we should do, you know, the, the way we could have done before. It, it just all seems so back to front. Like... I can't do this. Not... Not now. I care about you so much, and I really want this to work, but... It's like with some married couple, you know, not being able to do anything because of the kids. Only room for one man in your life, yeah? I think that you are amazing. More fool me for wanting to give it a go. Hello. So when do your parents get back? Don't worry about it. They're in Birmingham. They'll be gone all night. I hate being apart from me. Me too. It won't happen again. You and me, Ain. Nothing's ever gonna come between us again. Ever. I'll make sure of that.